guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for the collective. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do the new moon reading for the collective. Now let's see what's coming in for the new moon. Let's look at your energy. We have taking risks. No kidding. And you're being very diligent about things. That's beautiful collective so that means it could be any sign here any sign may resonate with this and just keep in mind it is a general reading so it may not be for you just take what does resonate and leave the rest behind so i was going to ask here what some main concerns you have maybe about I accept that everything happens in divine order and it could be that you're kind of concerned that things are taking so long now maybe that's because there's some work you have to do uh oh, no it's about fear so there may be some fear here that you're having with maybe something new coming in for you so <laughs> I accept that everything has divine order, so that kind of tells me there's uh, a certain time that things are going to happen for you, and there's no point in worrying about that because these are all good things that are coming in, right? I realize that I am t testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So have to think positively is kind of what i'm getting with that let's see what we get on the bottom of the deck courage yes <laughs> i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence test that self-love that confidence that you've got this right <laughs> and what's going on with my so crinkling there. I don't like that. <laughs> All right, let's get going on this. Let's see, what do we have for habits here? I feel like a part of me is missing without you. Feeling maybe alone or feeling lost without you is kind of what I'm getting. Maybe this is something this person thinks about often, or this could be you. What are some habits here? Ah, I feel the pain from damage I have caused. Now, I kind of feel like maybe you're, you know something's coming in. They're not here yet. There's a little bit of fear when they do get here. And I feel like you feel guilty about something from the past. Now, in order for you to have this come in for you, this may be some work you need to do here is to resolve that guilt and um, ask for forgiveness, right? And uh, you need to let that go in order for something new to come in for you, right? So daydreaming i'm always longing for you yeah you're wanting this person to come in but it's going to come in when it's meant to you have to have patience that's one of the biggest and hardest i'm kind of getting here for uh <laughs> especially some people that are really um on the go a lot of the time need something to do or like to have something to do and having to sit and wait is like it just kills some people it just they hate it um much rather be doing something else so don't just do you do your own thing that you're doing um do whatever self-love you're doing uh feel the dark night of the soul and that letting go of things releasing things that are no longer of service for you uh don't worry about this person not coming in right away. Don't worry about the guilt you're feeling. Let that go. Deal with that now. Cry it out. Whatever you need to do to get over these feelings. And the daydreaming, sure, you can daydream, but focus on you. Don't worry about anyone else around you. Do what you're doing. And that's when it's going to come in for you, is when you're concentrating on your own life no one else's just yours 
what you want to get done, your goals that you're doing, all those things that you want to do. Yeah, there's a change coming here, and it has to do with your wish fulfillment with the number nine. So it is coming. Don't lose faith, right? Because it is coming. So it's going to be the first impression you get from this person. Ah, this is coming in the distant horizon for that number nine. This is kind of confirmation that change is coming. Ooh, first impression is unexpected income. So there may be things that are going on in your life that are bumping you up financially here. What's the first impression you're going to get, not from spirit, but from the person that you're going to meet? Tell me about that. Oh, it might be somebody in your community that they're very community-oriented, um, community like they may do a lot of stuff for the community or they're seen by the community as somebody that is a giver is kind of what I'm getting here. Yeah, people like them is kind of what I'm getting here by groups of people with the number three. And that is that group that just maybe how they come across with their self-expression, their optimism, they're very lighthearted, and they're good communicators. So they may even have a gift of gab, able to talk to anybody out there. Let's see, what else for your first impression of this person? Ooh, that they like you and that they're stable. But the number four there, they have fundamental values that may be similar to yours. They look like they have stability, like structure, <clears throat> and maybe they, they can even manifest. Wow, nice. So 36, 27 might be something you want to put into the angel numbers. Um, 27, 39, 39. Four, so 394, um, 39, 36, 36, 39, 24, or 27, 4, uh, 36, 4, whatever. Um, play around with the numbers. It's whatever you feel. I, you're going to get different messages for each different number you plug in there. And not only that, put love behind that if you're looking for what something to do with love, right? This is a compatibility reading, so we're trying to see if your person is compatible for you. So they seem to like you, want to date you. What's dating them like when you meet this, after you meet this person and you go out on your date? Now, this is the... Um, soul connections okay and when two hearts meet so let's see because this is your person your person that you're meant to have okay that's coming in so when your two souls meet when your hearts meet what is it going to be remarkable <laughs> so it'll be very memorable i feel like and wow yeah twin flame it sure will be it'll be so electrifying that you're gonna feel <laughs> the electricity from across the room. You might even feel this person before they even get in the room. That's how much there is when it comes to this type of union. It's a lot of energy between the two, and it can be a little intense and a little scary for people. Very electrifying, like you're going to get electrocuted just if you touch that person. <laughs> and you equally uh, affect one another. And you may even have run into this person before uh, a few times or seen them a few times around town or you know who they are or whatever the case is. And you're going to be on each other's mind after you see one another or even just thinking about them. Signs. Watch for the signs leading you to true love. I feel like this may have been signs that you've been getting um, here and there about this person what's on the bottom of the deck obstacles look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness so i'm kind of getting that where i kind of feel like whatever is thrown your way um somehow you guys seem to always come back around to one another or run into each other or 
You may even know this person. I mean, take whatever resonates for you, right? Let's see, what kind of communication style do they have or what do they want to say to you if they could communicate with you? What would be on their mind? Aha, uh -huh. crown chakra. So I'm kind of getting telepathy with the uh, twin flame there. Um, there's a lot of times that you'll feel that you know what they're thinking uh, through telepathy. Uh, you can just see it on their face and you know exactly what they're thinking. And it may even be what you're seeing in your mind's eye or in your crown chakra. You just know. You just know what they're thinking. You don't know how you know. You just know. And with the number seven there, we're looking at that spirituality, analysis, and knowledgeable or knowledge reflecting and assessment i feel like you could just tell when you look at this person and you know what they're thinking let's see here new beginning hello <laughs> with the fool oh, the number zero is the fool card nice this is a new beginning this is a courtship that maybe you haven't really been in before or if you were it was very brief it wasn't something that lasted very long or wasn't really given a chance to uh last <laughs> Ah, material harvest. Number nine, this is what you feel abundant about. It could be about love. It may not be about money. Now, material harvest kind of suggests that it's about the dala dala, right? So, I mean, it may be that as well, but I'm kind of getting uh, whatever you're feeling is abundance to you. And I feel like you put love above all else and everything else just kind of fits into place with that love being there. Somehow you just happen to have everything fall into place. Ah, recognize or recognition and reward. So you may even be recognized for something here. You may have your own channel, be on social media, or this person that's known in the community here um, with the community may be that a lot of people know who that is or could even be a celebrity. So you never know, right? <laughs> All right. What do they want and don't want in a relationship here? What do they want and don't want in a relationship? Uh -oh, well, they definitely, after meeting you, they want to express their love. They want to message you. A message of love or thinking of you or letting you know that they like you. But courtship there kind of tells it all, doesn't it? Okay. Pop in. So endings bring in new beginnings. So this may be an ending for this person to come in for you. Or this may be the ending of feeling guilty or um, feeling a bit of, I feel like almost not. Not that you're giving up, but you're kind of wondering why this hasn't come in yet and longing for this, wanting this so bad. But the problem with that is that's when it won't come in is because you're focused on it. When you're not focused on it, that's how it comes in, right? So endings bring in new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. So you may be transitioning out of this uh, stagnant energy here and whatever feelings you were feeling you may end up taking my advice and concentrating on what's important to you getting your life in order how you want to have your life going and that's when it's going to happen right it's when you're not expecting it to happen and that's when it will so this even could be a rebirth with the coffin here so it may be somebody from your past. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Now, I kind of feel like that may be this guilty card. And I feel like that may be what's come to an end here. Or you haven't heard from somebody for a very long time. Maybe something ended between you and a friendship here. Or somebody that you once loved. Um, maybe this is a rebirth from the past. You may be thinking about this person 
You may have some old belief system that you've been uh, programmed to kind of follow, and it may be outdated. Uh, maybe it's time to look at some other types of things that might work better for you. Let's see. Who else don't they want or want in a relationship? Oh, yeah, they really like you. Whoa, soulmate plus a twin flame. This is a divine union. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. Soulmate, soul connection, partnership, soul contract, soul agreement. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of love going on here. <laughs> Passion, too. Wow. <laughs> insane chemistry like each other equally and having fun and that's what it's all about having fun and not having any um preconceived notions of how this should go okay oh we should be doing this and then this and then this and then this and then we get married and then we do this and then we do this no no no, no. just let it see where it goes don't even have any preconceived notion that you want it to go in any direction because that is forcing the issue or in other words that's kind of like having those preconceived notions of how something should be and that's like controlling the narrative or controlling the situation and just go with the flow don't don't have any things on that's too much pressure on somebody um uh, too much pressure on the relationship to do or follow whatever guidelines that you feel that you should be following that may be that outdated system that you're thinking or this is showing me here this whatever outdated system this is that you have of how things should go. No, just let it go. Let it go how it goes and kind of go from there. And that's when that, then there's no pressure, right? So let's see here about any hidden emotions that you don't know about this person because you haven't met them yet or you haven't seen them in a long time. Let's see what their hidden emotions are saying. I hide behind material things. Okay. And I don't react when people mention you. Hmm. I wonder why. Why don't you react when people mention you? We'll ask Tarot in a minute. Uh, we'll do some after Tarot too, but it won't be too long of a video. I'm trying to cut them back a bit. Okay, that one came shoot note. I hid who I really am from you. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe when you first meet this person, they may kind of, <laughs> you might be able to tell that they like you, but they may not show that to anyone else, or they feel like they're not, like they're hiding it from everybody else. But the real thing is, is everybody can tell because there's like sparks flying from you two just the way you look at each other so it's it's not fooling anybody let's see what else i wish i could take back my words okay so perhaps they, perhaps when they meet you they have a little bit of a fumbleia with their words <laughs> And maybe they say something and didn't think about it first before it came out of their mouth. They may have put their whole freaking leg in there, not just the shoe. I bury myself in work to forget you, and I remember every detail of that day. So they remember everything you were wearing, how your hair was, how your makeup was, all of it, okay? And if it's a guy, they, the woman remembers everything about what you were wearing, what right down to your shoes, okay? I bury myself in work to forget you. So perhaps <laughs> that yearning here, uh, that daydreaming, I, I feel like it's not just you that feels this. I feel like since you are twin flames here, remember, there's that telepathy so whatever you're feeling they're kind of feeling it's that mirroring of each other's souls here so and they may try to work and try not to think of you um i feel like they seem to know <laughs> if they think of you then it's not going to come in <laughs> i don't know why i'm getting that but that's kind of what i'm 
getting here. So they want this to come in just as much as you do. I feel like they're really ready for this. So you may be yearning for them to come. They may have some issues with guilt. This could be you that has the guilt. It could be them that has the guilt. However it is, it's playing out because you both are feeling certain aspects of this. I feel like it's a bit of fear from both of you. You have the courage to see this through. You want it to come. You really do want it to come, but it still scares the hell out of you too. <laughs> I, I feel like it's because you know it's going to be something big, huge, enormous. It's something that's going to be way bigger than you thought it was. I am grateful for this spiritual lesson. So <laughs> I kind of feel like there may have been some lessons along the way that this person may have maybe gone to the spiritual aspect of things. Maybe that was, I don't feel like they're telling anybody of their friends or anything because I feel like maybe people around them may not believe in that kind of thing but they may secretly believe in that kind of thing maybe they don't tell anybody that or they're open to it or they may just be open with it um and not worry about what anybody i don't care what anybody thinks but that's that's just me <laughs> um, but some people are sensitive to that maybe they get a lot of ribbing or a lot of people uh, bug them about it or tease them or whatever and they don't want that whatever to each their own so let us see here what would be the outcome coming in here give your relationship a chance even if they put their whole leg in their mouth when they fumbled and said something stupid <laughs> or it came across the wrong way <laughs> all right tell me oh let go of those control issues didn't <laughs> Yeah, and keep that positive aspect of things. Didn't I say that too? I'm <laughs> pretty sure I did. Stay optimistic about your love life. You do deserve love. You are lovable. So I, I do feel like don't get discouraged here that it's not coming in. Stay optimistic. Don't lose that faith like I said before. It's kind of reaffirming that. And even if they do make a mistake in what comes out of their mouth, <laughs> yeah, still give this relationship a chance. I mean, they may realize, whoa, whoops, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> and they want to correct that. They may not want you to misunderstand it, or maybe it's not what they meant and not sure why that was said the way it was said or whatever the case is. Um, we all make mistakes. We all are human. So what's on the bottom of the, uh, uh, your love life is being affected by children. Maybe you have children, maybe you have grandchildren, maybe they do. So let's see here. Let's get the tarot. Let's do these ones. I really like these ones. I really like the graphics on them, the pictures. They're really nice. Okay, so taking those risks and being diligent. I feel like this may even be needing to travel to see you. Maybe they don't live in the same town. There's a lot of wings here, a lot of birds. So they may... You both look like you have a higher perspective here. About things. Maybe you both have been through a lot of the same things. Maybe you have to travel to one another for you to be able to see one another. Tell me about that. Ah, oh, yeah, you guys have been patient. Or you really do feel like you've been patient. You both still have faith. I feel like you still have faith in this, but I still feel like there's a bit of um, disappointment I, I'm kind of getting with this. Um, maybe you're following your life purpose. Maybe you're finding your life purpose. Now there's maybe a journey here and and don't look at it as a negative look at it as a positive this is you should have some type of curiosity here and really have that um adventurous type of outlook on this like this is going to be um 
I'm kind of getting that harmony and peace that you're looking for. You may be feeling that now, like, but get in the flow of things. I feel like good things are coming your way here. You have been very patient, yes. And I feel like things don't rattle you too much. I feel like with this temperance, it's that kind of that um, almost, uh, what do I want to say with that? That um, inner calm, like the strength card with the Leo, that ability to stay calm in stressful situations, right? Or taming the beast. That temperance. All right, tell me about the fear. Ah, look at that. You're, <laughs> you're worried that this is coming, yet <laughs> you're discouraged and feeling like you're running out of patience. You have the courage here. You've got the courage card here, and I was just speaking about Leo. So it's kind of funny that the chariot came in here. And this is that that loyalty card that cancer card maybe they have cancer in their chart and then with the temperance that is sagittarius so maybe they have uh, sagittarius and uh, cancer in their sun moon rising or venus sign yeah i'm kind of getting with the chariot here this is that journey. Journey keeps coming up. So they may have to journey towards you, like Temperance's journey too, or an adventure. And it, I feel like this is, maybe you're not in the same town. Or you might be looking at your own individual journeys. I, I still feel like there's, somebody has to come to the other place to, to see one another and maybe they have children in your area or maybe they're adult children depending on how old you are maybe they have children with their baby mama and the baby mama lives in your town and they live somewhere else i mean take it however it resonates but they are coming they spirit says it's it's coming in for you this love judgment <laughs> Okay, so try not to judge this person is kind of what I'm getting with this card. And remember, I read intuitively, not just what the meanings of the cards are. This is kind of telling me with the Pluto energy here, these are life-changing events coming in for you. It's going to totally change your life. And try not to judge this person by their by their outside. I feel like they get a lot of that. What is this? King of Swords. Okay. So there may be some mental clarity I'm kind of getting with this. Mental clarity and some type of truth or breakthrough here. Wow, you got a lot of major arcana. All four of these are major arcanas. These are all life-changing events that are happening here for this to come in. This is going to like change your whole outlook on life. It's going to really, you're going to take that chance and you're going to have the courage to do it. And yes, you've been very patient and you've been longing for it. I really do feel that daydreaming and Longing for this person to come in. Tell me about the guilty. Hangman. Wow, another major arcana. <laughs> All right, with the hangman here. This is Neptune. I feel like what this is that pausing and reflecting and doing that inner spect. Inners. I almost getting the hermit card here with this even though it's the hangman it's that introspection or trying to have that awareness or reflecting kind of reflecting for that new perspective here and this has to do with divine timing so you can't be rushed so <laughs> tell me about the 
Wow, I'm just going to say courtship and look at that, Ten of Cups. This person sees you as the Ten of Cups. That's beautiful. You may see this person as your Ten of Cups. I kind of feel like you're both going to think or feel the same thing here. Tell me about the recognition and reward. I feel like they may recognize your souls. You're, you might realize that you recognize each other's souls. There's some type of reward here with that unexpected income here. Maybe you both, wow, are going to do something together. Lots of love here. There's that twin flame union with the lover's card where you're mirroring each other. This is my twin flame card whenever I see this. And this is kind of telling me that because with Gemini, this is about communicating. So you both may be able to communicate well. Maybe you both have air in your chart with the Gemini sign. You have a lot of different, <laughs> a lot of different signs coming in here. Sagittarius, Cancer. You have um, Judgment, which is that Pluto. We have uh, the King of Swords, which is air, which is... Um, Aries, or not Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, and we have the Hangman as well, which is the uh, Neptune, and then we've got the Lovers, which is Gemini, so there's lots, lots going on here. Wow, this is beautiful. This it just tells me that they're very serious about you. I feel like they're very serious about you. They really see you as the Ten of Cups, which is that fairy tale ending. This is about marriage, having that family, the house, the dog, the family from their side, from your side, all having a picnic or a barbecue and <laughs> or whatever your dream life looks like. Okay, maybe it's nothing of those things <laughs> but love is definitely here wow so definitely recognizing each other and the love that maybe you share this is a new beginning happening here tell me about the soulmates tell me about the soulmates this is a divine union. I really feel that. I really do with the uh, lovers coming out, with the Ten of Cups and um, the 1111. This is really beautiful. Tell me about the soulmate. All right. Seven of Wands and the Page of Wands. This is. Um, Seven of Wands is kind of telling me that this may be overcoming some challenges here when it came to you. Um, I kind of feel like... Hmm, this might be very enthusiastic. They may realize that you've had some issues or problems in the past that you've overcome. They may have had something similar as well. Now, having both aspects of the twin flame and the soulmate connection, this is like an intense but very deep feeling soul level connection, okay? It's going to have that electricity between you, but you're going to have a lot of similar values. You're going to affect each other equally, um, but it's going to be like you've known each other for lifetimes. Like you're going to have that real good friendship between you two, that uh contract or tie contract or I don't know like like I know I feel like I've known you all my life um you're very unique or special to one each other you're often on each other's mind you yearn 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 for each other there's that telepathic and you feel complete together best friends like they show up at a specific time in your life too uh, let's see. I don't react when people mention you. Why is that? I feel like they don't want anybody to know that they like you. Why is that? Knight of Pentacles. Oh, and if I'm turning the cards around, I'm only reading in uprights today. So they may have taken a long time to come in. I'm kind of getting 
maybe they've heard things about you. Hmm. And it may be, be about your spirituality that maybe people don't understand. That is kind of what I'm getting here. They've taken a long time to come in, though. And you've been very, very patient for that. I feel like maybe people were saying stuff that, that may be not true. We have the hermit. Yeah, I knew I was getting the hermit earlier. Uh, hidden away. Maybe nobody can come forward towards you because maybe you don't go out very often. <laughs> maybe it's really hard to run into you or because you're not really putting yourself out there. You're kind of hidden away. You're not really um, being in a lot of people's energy. I feel like you're very sensitive to energy. You might be soul searching or doing that alone time because there are a couple things that maybe you have to take care of here um, in your energy before this comes in. And that might be why you're kind of keeping to yourself as well. Doing that introspect and really looking within. I feel like this person, whoever I'm picking up on here today, is really trying to look at every aspect of themselves to work on things to be a better person, which is so awesome. And with that Knight of Pentacles, I mean, this is somebody that takes this um, seriously. Like, this person knows how to grow their money independently. They know the lay of the land. They've learned certain skills in order to help produce things that they need to be productive in, in order to have that... Material success is kind of what I'm getting. That's the next step with it. And I feel like this is going to help. You're both going to help each other get to that next point if you aren't already there. You may already be doing your own thing right now. I'm kind of getting here. This person's very practical, reliable. They're very diligent, too, and that might be something you both have in common here. All right, tell me about the children. Okay, oh boy, seven of cups. So you may have a lot of options. This, may, this person may have a lot of options, okay? But the Knight of Cups, they want to bring in that offer, and I feel like they are picking your cup here, collective. Okay, and with that Knight of Cups, this is somebody that really uh, feels the love in the air that and they may be very romantic. They may like to um, be very romantic with you. It's very heartfelt. It, they're very charming and they may surprise you uh, with the way they do things like um, they use their imagination is very uh, what I'm picking up on with that. Very imaginative. So they, they may um, like to surprise you with things. I feel like they, it doesn't matter if you have children or not, they really like you and maybe even want to have children with you. So take it however it resonates if you're able to have children or whatever um, and that's what you're looking at or wanting. They may want that with you. They may already have children um, that is going to affect your life um, as a step parent or um, they have to co-parent with somebody and uh, that might be another obstacle that you'll have to navigate around um, with about their ex or whatever, uh, whoever they are co-parenting with their baby mama or baby papa or baby daddy whatever you want to call it all right yeah i feel like they see you as the one all be all the ten of cups i mean you can't get any higher than that it only goes to ten so let's see what your intuition is telling you about meeting your person two of swords <laughs> 
Okay, so you may not know a lot about this person, and I feel like this may be a hard choice for you because of painful things that have happened in the past. You may be scared or worried because of things that were hidden in the past, but I feel like you don't aren't going to have to worry about that. This person sees you and only you they don't see anyone else they're blindfolded <laughs> i'm kidding um i just feel like they with the ten of cups here the 11 11 the the knight of cups the seven of cups they've got other options they could choose the lovers is here all these major arcanas this is a major major thing coming in for you and you may be even feeling that or picking up on some type of energy and that might be what's triggering you right now maybe a little fearful so what about this person how are they going to feel about you two of wands they're planning something they're planning on coming in here so <laughs> We have the chariot here. They're making that judgment call. They may not be coming in quick and fast. That, and that explains why this Knight of Pentacles is here. It's because they're, you see the chariot. They, you see the judgment that they're making that judgment call. They want to come in. They may be coming forward, making that judgment call, but taking their time to do it, or maybe. Um, reflecting on that and making sure and they they see that they do want to court you they see you as their end all be all there's so much love there i mean they know you've been through some some things maybe they have as well maybe they've heard about you um maybe some of the things that have happened to you don't want to come in and bring in that that cup i mean there's the pentacle and then there is the cup right so and it it's gonna be one of those things that you both grow from that planning they're looking at that they may have some individual success maybe you have your own individual success right i mean with the two of wands it's kind of saying that do i go there do i stay home um i've got all these other options um you know, it's kind of that dissatisfied of what they're doing right now. And I feel like they're kind of making that choice with the judgment. They're making a judgment call here. And they know that you are the one. I, I, I don't know how they know that. Maybe they can feel it just like you can. Maybe they have some gifts as well. Maybe you have the gifts. But somebody knows something here. They know that something big is coming. They just don't know when. And that's how it's meant to be. It's meant to be kind of unexpected. It's divine timing. It comes in when spirit says it comes in. I mean, <laughs> destiny, I guess, right? So whenever it's destined to happen for you. So work on whatever needs to be worked on if that's you work on yourself do what you need to do for you and don't worry about anything else and that's when it will come so anyhow that is what i have for you collective be excited be curious can't wait <laughs> kind of energy right and i see seven five six on the clock <laughs> So maybe have a look at that number. Maybe there's a message there for you. All right, you guys, if you want to donate, you can. There are people that are asking. You can put it in the PayPal section of any of the videos in the drop down box. It says more there. You just click on the more button and it pops down and there is a PayPal link there. I also have um, some of my readings stuff there that because uh, I have opened my personal readings. I have added some readings to what I originally had because I only had two before. Now I have a bunch more that you can go ahead and have a look on my community tab on my channel. Also, if you are looking to win that free reading worth $100, 
you can go into the community section as well go down a couple posts you'll find it there it will show you how to win that or how to put in for that to try and win and you can also gift it if you don't want the reading for yourself and it tells you how you can go about doing that as well so with christmas coming up you never know so anyhow <laughs> And there's always the super thanks if you want to donate that way or if you just want to watch the readings, that helps too. I mean, all of it helps. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are so awesome. All right, you guys, take care. Stay blessed and we'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>